Depending on the regions, this year's monsoon arrived a day to a week later than average. Now, up until now, the monsoon has mostly affected the southernmost parts of the country because a cold front kept it from easily moving up north. And because of those cold air pockets, the rainy season is expected to enter a long pause this week as the monsoon front is pushed down south. And as the rain clouds disappear, it'll get hotter in the northern parts of the peninsula, so keep an eye on the heat wave alerts. And Beijing is also expecting a very hot weather tomorrow, while Tokyo will be cooler under rainy skies. And morning lows for tomorrow will be similar to today, with Hor waking up to 20 degrees Celsius. And there's also possibility of Jeju being influenced by the monsoon in the morning hours. Now, there will be a few clouds drifting in the afternoon, but it will be mainly be sunny, with Seoul topping out to 31 degrees, and while Chuncheon and Daegu goes higher to 33 degrees. The heat will hit its peak in the latter half of this week on a warm easterly wind, and also the monsoon front will move up again and drench the southern areas over this weekend. I'll leave you with the weather conditions around the world.